सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स गिक चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लो ट्रिगर एक्सप्लोर इन सेल्स फोर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लाइक वॉट इज फ्लो ट्रिगर एक्सप्लोर वॉट आर द यूज ऑफ फ्लो ट्रिगर लाइक वॉट आर द थिंग्स यू कैन डू विद फ्लो ट्रिगर एक्सप्लोर राइट सो विदाउट एन डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट let me tell you that uh, in the previous to previous release we get this feature of flow trigger explorer in salesforce flows right so today we are going to discuss about the same so let me just navigate into the flows uh, by like visiting setup so let me just click on the setup button here and after that in the quick find i need to type flows and there is one more new update like in winter 23 release like we got a feature like you can see the create button over there on the home page itself right if you click on it you will see a flow button over there so if you click on the flow you can directly create a new flow from this button right so it's kind of a new interface you don't need to visit into quick find in order to create a new flow right but right now i want to show you about flow trigger explorer so that's why i'm going to visit into uh quick find and simply going to type flows so let's click on flows so right now you can see there is a list view called all flows right either i i can create different different uh, list views here but it's kind of a hectic to me uh let's say if i want to see my record triggered flows and on which object i have record triggered flows so salesforce comes with a solution which called flow trigger explorer so right now you can see on the flows you are you are seeing this button flow trigger explorer so your question should be okay shubham what is flow trigger explorer before explaining flow trigger explorer let me just explain you the current scenario so right now you can see there are different different uh, list views right and and here you are kind of confused okay what are the record triggered flows on a particular object right if you going to find into these much flows you are going to be confused like okay on this particular object what are the record triggered flows that i have right so soul salesforce brings a solution that's called flow trigger explorer where you can see all the record triggered flows of a object on a particular interface let me just show you on the screen so for that i need to simply click on the flow trigger explorer and after clicking on this you will see a interface which is very interactive very beautiful and very easy to understand like okay what is happening over there right so right now it is on the screen and you are you are, you are seeing like when an account record is deleted that means we have filters over there if i click on the account here you will see the look up of all the objects that we have in our salesforce org right so let's say if i going to type contact over there and select contact it will show me all the record triggered flows that are available on contact object and which will run on the delete operation so here you can see record is deleted so deleted is also a look up if i click on the deleted arrow right here you can see three pick list created updated and deleted so these are the three dmls that we have in order to uh, basically select like okay what are the trigger, uh, record triggered flows on the create operation and when i click on the created right i have three sections which is fast field updates action and related records and run asynchronously fast field update means before save flows action and related record means after save update right and run asynchronously that have a can say asynchronous path in our salesforce record triggered flows right so now let me just show you on the update as well so on update we also have fast field update action and related record and run asynchronously now i am in the contact object but i don't have any a uh, record triggered flow on the contact objects so that's why i am going to show you on account object i have few flows on account object so that's why i am going to choose account here so let me just type account and select account here so you will see on the update dml i have three flows available on my record triggered flow right which is account description before save flow and post to account team so these are the three flow which are available to me and out of these three flow one flow is inactive and two flows are active right so this is kind of a very beautiful uh, interface where you can see all the information about a particular flow like whether it the flow is active whether the flow is uh, not active and lot of other things right so we are going to discuss each and everything after that you will see let's say if you want to create a new flow on the account object and it's on a fast field update so simply what you need to do you need to click on this new flow and it will redirect to a new window where it will simply navigate us to the flow builder where we can create record triggered flows right 
so let me just move back in uh, meanwhile this flow builder screen will open the flow builder will open and here i am going to create a record triggered flow on the account object right everything is selected by default and let's say if i am going to select a record is created or updated and here i am going to create a condition requirement or not it's totally depend on me how i am going to configure my uh, record triggered flow so this is just to let you know that uh, you can create a new record triggered flow from the flow trigger explorer itself so how much uh, beneficial it is uh, for sales for admins or developer who are going to basically who are going to create flows right let me just cancel it because uh, the purpose of this video is just to explore flow trigger explorer what are the uses what we can achieve with the flow trigger explorer right so let's move to the another uh, feature of this record triggered flow let's say you want to see the details and description of a particular flow what you need to do you need to simply click on this arrow button just with the active uh, label so here you can see flow details and version simply click on it and in the right hand side there will be a pop-up or you can see there is a sidebar uh, sidebar window where which is open with the all the details like what are what is the version of the flow whether the uh, status is active or not when the flow is last modified trigger order which i am going to explain just after explaining this uh, record triggered uh, details and all right so here you can see like uh, i have three versions of this flow version one version two version three and two are inactive one is uh, obviously like active so these are the details which you can see just by clicking on this arrow button and similarly like here you can see for before save flow this is the version 10 right so all the versions you can see and let's say if i want to activate this version 9 so i can simply click on this activate button or either let's say if i want to deactivate this flow so i can simply deactivate it and here you can see label is automatically changed into inactive so this is kind of cool and i found this uh, flow trigger explorer very beneficial let me just cross it down and let's move to the edit order now what is order so order is something let's say there are five uh, flows over a particular dml let's say updated on updated we have right now three flows right so right now we have a particular dml which is update right so on update we have three flows now uh, in each each context now we have like two con context before save and after save like so before save we have only one flow right and in action and related record you are seeing two flows so basically order will work in the multiple flows when we have more than one flow and we want to change the order now what is order let's say if i provide a flow a order as one and the other flow as order as two right so what will happen the order one will run first and the flow with order second will run after the first one so that's how it will work here is the thing which you need to remember is it works only in the context so let's say it is an action and related record so it will only filter out or only sort by on context basis so let's say it is on action and related record and on action and related record i have five flows and i provide a order one two three four five so it will only work between that context so let's say if i have two flows on a uh, fast field update and if i have uh, five flows on action and related record so i need to provide a order for action and related record separately and for fast field update separately so the fast field update we have two flows order will be in between that two flows first or second but in action and related record we have five flows so the order between one to five right and it will be a sequential let's say you want to run a particular flow uh, first so you need to provide a lesser number than the uh, other flow that we have so let's say if a flow have 10 as a order right so if you want to run that uh, run a another flow just before that flow so you need to provide a number lesser than 10 so that how it will work and basically i am going to provide an example in the upcoming videos of our channel so till then we need to remember about this flow trigger explorer and i will see you in another video where i am going to explain like how we are going to use the order or let me just show you how we can set this order right so here right now you can see edit order button over there what you need to do you need to simply click on this four uh, eight dots right in the right hand side and let's say right now post to account team is on the second number right so what i am going to do is scroll it to the above and simply click on update so i need to click on update and now i need to simply refresh my page So here you can see now post to account team has a lesser number 
lesser order or you can say before save flow will execute after the post to account team uh, flow will executed so it is like first post to account team will run after that before save flow will run right uh, that's how our flow trigger explorer work and that's how you can change the order of the different different flows that's how you can create a new flow from the flow trigger explorer and a lot of other things so let's say the same functionality which if you want to perform on create so you need to simply select the created pick list over there and similarly right now here you can see we have two flows in the action and related records so again if you want to change the order you need to click on the edit order and simply scroll it to above and click update and click another again again update and simply refresh the screen so that it will change the values so right now you can see version now send email to account is on uh, first priority second priority we have before save flow so first we uh, have send email to account uh, run first then before save flow will work as uh, the second flow i hope this video will be helpful for you and if it is helpful please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much